Hey everyone, welcome to WT Productions. Today we will be making a fairly simple animation which will be a starting soon animation using the Saber plugin. And uh, uh, you can use this on a black background or uh, any other background, but this glow really looks good on a darker background with uh, a lighter color for the glow. So if you are new to the channel, then please subscribe and let's get straight to the video. So guys, to start off this animation, first of all, we are going to just create a new composition over here. In After Effects, you can name your composition. It's a 10 second composition, 1920 by 1080 pixel background. And you can select OK. And you will ha have this black screen over here. So what you need to do now is just go ahead and select New. Place your text. Let's write our words. This is good. And uh, you can just center align these words by clicking this. And uh, if you do not find this over here, then you can go in window and select align option from over here. Uh, so the font that I used before was called payback font. And this is the star Jedi font. The force is strong in this one. But you can use uh, any font that you like. Uh, but it works good on a bold font. Uh, so I'm choosing a bold font over here right now. So uh, once we have this, we can just go ahead now and uh, we will select our text over here and just right click, select create, create masks from text. So we are going to be using this mask and placing our saber over here. So you must have the saber plugin installed. It's a free plugin that you can find online and you can just double click and install it. It's very easy to install. So we will select the saber plugin and drop this on our mask. And you will see this uh, saber over here. So we'll go in customize core and then select the layer masks. This will apply the mask on the layer. And uh, for uh, another thing that I usually like to do is uh, go in render settings, then uh, go over here in uh, composite settings, and select transparent. So whatever background you have over here, then it will be visible. I'm just using a plain black background, uh, but you can use any. So the next thing that we need to do is select our cellular over here. And this is the uh, style that we are using. So we are going to change a few settings over here. Select 137 for the glow intensity. And uh, for the core, we will use one. And uh, I'm just going to go over here in distortion and glow distortion, I'm just going to make it at zero. Uh, but you can have uh, some of the distortion if you want, uh, something crazy like this. But right now I'm just making a simple animation, so it's zero over here. So now what we need to do is uh, just go over here and select and this end offset over here. This is going to animate our saber. So for this end offset, I'm just going to select click this stopwatch over here at zero and I'm going to type zero over here. So at around three seconds, then I'm going to go over here at three seconds. Now I'm going to type 100 over here. We're just animating one thing, which is the end offset and nothing else. And uh, we can see this over here. Now you need to press U on your keyboard to see the keyframes. By the way, if you are liking the video so far, then be sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't. And uh, let's so let's proceed. So. Now we are going to go over at around maybe like six seconds just so these words are there and uh, we are going to hit this button over here. This is going to add the same keyframe over here. So you can see that this is stationary now. Now it, at the end we are going to just go ahead and change this end offset value to zero once again. So our animation will look something like this. and. Uh, it's a very simple animation. So you can change a few uh, options over here. Like uh, let's suppose if you want to change the color to red, then uh, this is also looking uh, fabulous and this is looking very good. So this is a saber can be a very difficult to use at the first, but 
once you get the hang of it then saber plugin becomes uh, really interesting so if you change other like electric then we can have the same results over here uh, you can see that we are having this same result and similarly we can either select fire if you want that if you want something like that or any theme that you have you can use the saber plugin very efficiently so guys if you want to render this animation out uh, then you can just uh, do that with a few simple steps basically we will be rendering in uh, mp4 format so if you want to export in media encoder you can easily do that but if you want if you do not have the media encoder or is there is a dynamic link problem in your media encoder then you can just select add to render queue and render it as a quick time file which i usually choose so select lossless and then you can select quick time i usually select quick time over here select ok this is your destination where you want the file to end you can click save and then just render the file so guys i hope you like this video and uh, be sure to stay tuned for more content like this and gaming content uh, creation uh, and graphic design motion graphics content so i'm sure that you would not want to miss that so thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.